So this is my review of the Beats Studio Buds. Now these are smartly priced at $150 and they were also kind of silently released by Apple. Now I'm coming from the AirPod Pros and I have to admit that these are some really nice earbuds for the price. I wanna separate this video into three different parts and I'll talk about the general overview of the Studio Buds first, then about if Apple users should get it, actually if Android users should get it, and then Apple users should get it, and then my final thoughts. So I guess technically four parts. So out of the box, you get slapped in the face with a free subscription to Apple Music, which I tossed away because I use Spotify, um, a case, the Buds, and a very short USB-C cable. Let me see if I can find it. It's honestly disgraceful by Apple. I found it. So this is a thin and short cable. Honestly, disgraceful by Apple. And there's no wireless charging capabilities, which is also kind of a bummer, but the sound is comparable to the AirPod Pros, but sounds slightly worse in terms of like, in terms of clarity, like this does sound a little bit muffled, but comparing apples to apples, I would say that these are pretty acceptable at the price point, and I don't think most people would notice anyway, but the bass definitely packs a punch in your eardrums, no doubt. So let's talk about the different modes, which like what I'm talking about is transparency, off, and then active noise canceling, because this is where I'm a little bit conflicted. So transparency mode sounds more clear than off mode, which I would assume it does, but it still sounds a bit muffled. Compared to my AirPod Pros where transparency mode sounds like nothing is in my ear. Transparency mode on here still sounds like there's some type of like pass through or something going on. Um, I rarely stay on this mode because it was underwhelming and maybe it's just because I'm coming from the AirPod Pros, but the muffling of transparency mode was a bit of a letdown. But I'll talk about the sounds overall as a whole in a bit. So let's move on to the off mode. Off mode sounds great, sounds identical to my AirPod Pros, and the noise cancellation mode is solid. This has great noise cancellation, and I definitely feel the pressure to a certain degree in my ears, and I would almost go as far to say that this has better noise cancellation there my Air than my AirPod Pros. But let's go back to transparency mode and all these modes holistically as a whole. So for the price of $150, I think this is well-priced, especially when you factor in the music sounds and the microphone as well. And I would make the argument that most people would more than likely be using the noise cancellation feature anyway, more than transparency. So if that's you, I wouldn't worry about the transparency mode being subpar in my opinion. When someone wants my attention or wants to talk, I always take out my earbuds just to show some level of respect. And when you take out the studio buds, the music or whatever audio you're listening to is still playing and it's so frustrating, at least for me. I don't understand how there is like some level of ear detection because when you put them in, it knows it's in your ear and then when you take them out, it doesn't do anything. So I feel like Apple kind of dropped the ball there. Maybe they can fix that with a software update, who knows, but I find that very annoying and frustrating when people are trying to talk to me, I take out my earbud and then my audio is still playing, it's like, yeah gotta tap and then take it off. It's like an extra step that I'd rather not, rather not do. Sounds like a first world problem, but with the technology inside the Studio Buds, I feel like this is something that is more than capable of being done that Apple, like I said, kinda dropped the ball here. Now about the case and the Buds. Now I'll have to admit there is a bit of a learning curve when taking them out and putting them in. After about a couple of days though, you'll get used to it. My advice is it's more of a sweeping motion when you take them out the case as if you're pushing them away from the case. Um, Apple for some reason made some really, oops. Apple made some really, all right, we're just gonna, just gonna roll with this. Apple made some really strong magnets with the buds, but clearly they didn't make the lid strong enough. At least from my experience, it's hard to naturally grab them and pull them out. Um, but the case itself fits in my pocket, no problem. And I'm sure women will have no problem tossing this in their purse or their bag, no problem. I said no problem way too many times. Um, so this also does have on-ear controls, which are the Beats logo. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure to get it to work at all. So you just have to tap once to play and pause, twice to go forward, and then three times to go back, or thrice, whatever word you want me to use. 
Um, I say tap, but you really have to like feel for a click for it to happen. Now, when it comes to battery life and earbuds, I've decided that I don't really pay too much attention to the rated battery life by the company. Um, because from my experience, these never died in my ears when using, when using active noise canceling for two hours. And I think I charged the case for like once in, for the entire week. And I don't have earbuds in my ears that long anyway. At most, it's like four hours if I'm having like a good conversation with a friend over the phone. Um, with 30 minutes in the case or so, you'll have enough battery that will probably last you for the whole day. So in terms of battery life, I would say that this is pretty good. But if you want, I guess, official numbers, I'll have it somewhere on the screen. Um, I also forgot to mention that these are extremely comfortable in the ear. Ear. These are extremely comfortable in the ear. I actually prefer these in my ear over the AirPod Pros. Um, the seal is very solid. Like it definitely seals your ear canal or whatever part of your ear. Um, the earbuds go in it, go in, in. I don't know English today for some reason. When I go running with my AirPod Pros, I can feel them in my ear for some time. But when I put the Beat Studio Buds in my ear, I forget these were on within like 30 minutes of just walking before actually starting my run. So Android users, should you pick this up? So from my experience, which you should take with a grain of salt, um, it's only been Samsung earbuds on this channel and the OnePlus Buds Z. And here's what I'll say. For the whole active noise canceling transparency mode, I would still prefer the Galaxy Buds Pro just because, but just because in terms of functionality and features you get, it's worth the extra $50, especially if you have a Samsung device as well. Um, you get the wireless case capabilities, um, ear detection, which sounds like a gimmick, but trust me, it's worth it if you're a person who takes out your earbuds and you want your music to stop playing and then put it put it back in and the music starts playing. Um, it's really for your own convenience. I know it's like a first world problem, but for those 50 extra dollars, I do think it's worth it. Um, but I do think that the Galaxy Buds Pro are a better choice. Um, but do keep in mind, you have to pay an extra $50 for that. But for 150, I think this is a solid choice as well. Now for Apple users, let me go get my AirPod Pros. Actually, who cares about my AirPod Pros? This is the most discombob discombobulated review I've ever done. So Apple pretty much killed the original AirPod, original AirPods, yes. Um, the only reason I'd recommend the original AirPods is if you prefer the hard tips in your ear or if these buds don't naturally fit in your ear. But the seal is pretty much, it's better than any Apple earbud I've ever used. So if this one doesn't fit your ear, God bless your ear. I said this before in my unboxing, but if you are able to find the AirPod Pros for $199, I'd recommend picking up those instead just because you get the extra features. So if you step up to the AirPod Pros for $199 for an extra $50, the transparency mode sounds way better if you actually use transparency mode. Um, in terms of functionality of the earbuds and your phone, you get a lot more customizations with the AirPod Pros and more options in the settings. But I do think for AirPod Pros, if you are getting it at 250, I would say just cut your losses and just get the Studio Buds for 150. But I would say the regular AirPods are gone. Like these should be the new standard for, um, I don't wanna say entry level, but these killed the AirPod Pros is what I'm trying to say. So I know this review was kind of all over the place, but hopefully you found this video informative. I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. And as always guys, much love. Why? is USB-C on here, but not on AirPod Pros? Answer me that question, Apple. Answer me that question.